Hey, it's Ocean, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you all a must-have Elders mod that you need in your game right after you watch this video. Today, we are going to be checking out the Golden Years mod by Adeep Indigo, and I think you all are going to love this mod so much. What is the Golden Years mod? This is a mod that is going to expand some gameplay options available to Elder Sims. How it works, when your Sim ages up to an Elder, they will have a new option on the phone under the General Pie menu. This menu will include a various list of options available for seniors to make plans, try new hobbies, look up ways to mentor and get involved with their community as new ways to spend their leisure time and connect with others. Hobbies and recreation, Elder Sims have 18 different hobby and recreational activities they can either do alone or with others in the household community. Elder Aspirations. There are six new Elder Aspirations. They are short, achievable aspirations that can be completed in an Elder's remaining time and can even be combined together for an overall Elder Aspiration journey during their final days of life. Estate planning, if you play with simulated endings by Deep Indigo, I know I do. This is a feature that was pulled from that mod as well. You can use both mods simultaneously. This is basically going to make it so that your Sims can get their affairs in order before they pass away. Consulting and mentoring, elder Sims will receive periodic calls from their children, friends, family members, and community members asking for advice, asking for interviews, or asking for networking or mentoring. Additionally, elder Sims can register a consulting business. How much they get paid is determined by how much work they complete. When they have reached a threshold for a particular consulting client upon getting their consulting fee, which is paid out on Friday afternoons, they will be able to take on more consulting work. Sims can also write their memoirs. And it does not stop there. We also have volunteer careers. Elder Sims can be active members of their community by volunteering. These are volunteer careers and will show up in the career panel. They range from one to three days a week and from two to five hours. And of course, we have senior care and living options. Elder Sims have some new care and living options available to them. They can explore these options under the menu. These include independent living, assisted living, a residential caregiver or home care, and residential care home, aka a nursing home. This mod is jam-packed with features. We can also take our Elder Sims on a cruise, and they can also select if they're going solo or with other Sims, what type of cruise they want. We also have over 15 months specific to Elders and many specifics to the features of this mod. Sims who are or were in certain professions upon retirement can collect either veterans benefits or corporate or public service pension in addition to the game's version of social security. And lastly, Sims are able to plan a retirement party as a social event, or they can go to their retirement party party as a rabbit hole. Before you download this mod, please make sure that you have the general pie menus. You will download that right here. You need this because this is a deep into ghost base for their mods because it's going to allow you to click on your sim and have that menu specific to the mod. The mod also requires base mental venue list or Zerbu's venue list. Now, technically this isn't required if you are not interested in the senior care and living options. If you're fine with the rabbit hole version of that, then you don't have to worry about that. And the same goes for the senior activity center. So there is an actual new venue called the senior center where you can actually have your lot as a senior center or you can just use the rabbit hole. So if you're okay with just sending your Sims off to the rabbit hole, then you don't really need the uh, venue mods as well but i do use base mentals venue list i am here with the langlois family created by sims on the rope and when you first enter in the game and you have an elder sim here you will get a pop-up for the golden years mod and i'll allow you to go ahead and read that but it basically is telling you what you can do with this mod that we kind of already looked over so you get that prompt there just in case you forget that you put this in your game this is our grandma mar or margaret and i just call her mar but you can click on uh, your sim and then you can also select senior services right here where we have all the senior services recreational hobbies go to the senior center consulting business retirement party stuff estate planning senior living and care options your elder sims can also go to the geriatrician elder sims can visit the doctor regularly if you have the a health redo mod by a deep indigo as well this will pair in handy with that because they could also get diagnosed with something i do not use the health redo mod because it is very overwhelming for me and i don't want health issues in the game per se but it's great for realism we can also plan a vacation a cruise vacation and we can check for mentoring opportunities i have no other mods installed because i really want to make sure that this mod was working well so if we come here if you have a lot of a deep indigo mods you know a lot of them are listed here but you can also access the senior services here as well 
So first things first, she is getting older and I think I wanna start off with some estate planning. I do want her to go ahead and get her affairs in order. Here you can browse information on estate planning, consult with an estate lawyer, compare life insurance policies. Here I decided to compare life insurance policies and here it says there are so many different life insurance plans and so many different loopholes and so much wiggle room and the language can be so confusing. Margaret feels glad she spent some time learning more about them before signing up for any. Those three interactions are just going to give you the uh, just just a simple notification like that but let's go ahead and sign up for the life insurance so we can go ahead and get to the good stuff choose a life insurance policy so the life insurance policies do vary by price obviously if you spend more your beneficiaries get more so gold life insurance policy package 2700 for these simoleons our top tier life insurance policy which offers beneficiaries a one-time payment of 100 thousand simoleons margaret is relieved to be covered under a life insurance policy and provide financial security for her loved ones someday and we already have a want that is specific to the golden years gather information on estate planning so this is actually something she already wanted to do deep indigo estate planning so let's go ahead and browse information on estate planning and then we can also name our beneficiaries from here as well so we have to make sure that we uh, put our son up there for our beneficiary we can also go to senior services, go to estate planning and name the beneficiaries for our life insurance policy as well, which of course that is definitely going to go to our son Nathaniel here. Uh, Nathaniel is now a beneficiary of Margaret's life insurance policy and can claim a death benefit upon Margaret's passing. That is why I love also having simulated endings in here as well, because we can really give Mar a great send off when she passes away. So let's check out recreation and hobbies. So this is what I love. I love rabbit holes that my Sims can just enjoy. And there are so many birding society, bowling League, bridge club cooking class knit and stitch nosh and nectar i love that so much nature walkers tennis club water aerobics i'm sorry i love the idea of her heading off to water aerobics because when me and my kids used to go to the pool literally there would be like you know elder elderly in the in the uh, pool and we'd have to wait until they were done with their water aerobics class so oh did i select him to go to i I didn't mean to, um, but I guess we can uh, send a daycare. I did not mean for that to happen, but I guess he decided to go too because he's also at water aerobics with me. Well, way to go, son, for showing your mother some support here. I love that. We are back from water aerobics and Margaret has acquired the wellness skill. And it says there's something about being in the water that feels relaxing and free, even when attempting aerobic movements. So that's kind of awesome that she actually has the wellness skill from that and not the fitness skill. And here it says energizing exercise from water aerobics. It feels good to get those old bones moving while exercise can be tiring. It also makes Margaret feel happier and stronger. So we know about recreation and hobbies, but you can also go to the senior center as well. This is a rabbit hole, but I'm also going to show you when she gets back how you can actually visit a real senior center. Mar had so much fun hanging out at the senior center. Margaret enjoys spending some time with other elders and just socializing. Sometimes it's nice to just catch up with friends and relax and enjoy each other's company. I love that for her and her social is completely maxed out. Margaret enjoyed her time at the Senior Center today. There's always something interesting going on with so many different options and offerings. I realized that Mar is working as a conservation regulator and it's definitely time to retire at this point. Now she can go to a retirement party or you can also plan a retirement party event. However, when I've tried this before and granted she's an elder i'm just going to show you what happens your retirement party social event pops up of course i want it gold and if i hit host say you know her son's throwing it for her but when i click on retiring sim for some reason it will not open up anything if i click on guest you know it opens up guest but it will not let me choose the retiring sim i would have loved to actually have the retirement party um, i don't know if that's a glitch or if it's something on my end but in three different saves i could not figure that out so what i'm gonna do is just go to the retirement party via rabbit hole i'm kind of digging the whole rabbit hole thing sometimes because i'm not used to having all these features and stuff in game many elder sims who have retired or stopped working find retirement without challenge or direction and here's where it mentions a new feature that we basically unlocked which is consulting so we're gonna uh, take a look at the consulting portion 
section of the mod so if we click on mara here and go to senior services consulting business yes so she can now register a consulting business now let's go back to consulting business she can dissolve the consulting business prepare consulting client work make some calls consulting calls have to be made between the hours of 9 a.m to 5 p.m though so that classic nine to five and the same thing goes for the attending consulting meeting however we can email our consulting clients right from our phone which is awesome for her and now that we have retired we can now check for mentoring opportunities we can also check for volunteer jobs so let me go to mentoring opportunities right now and she will pull out her phone oh my goodness what is she doing oh she's shoveling the snow she just cannot sit down so we're going to check for some mentoring opportunities which i think would be great for her by the way there aren't any opportunities at the time though so i guess we'll check back again later but we can check for volunteer jobs this is probably my second favorite thing about this mod this is oh i think dad is oh dad's helping leela explore some food i'm like what is this so i'm not that old now she she still has all her teeth but volunteer jobs we can volunteer at the animal shelter be a community activist a little league coach a local tour guide museum docent docent oh my gosh <laughs> I can't read neighborhood watch a school board member or a youth mentor for right now i'm gonna have her own neighborhood watch neighbors looking out for other neighbors as part of being a connected community should margaret come out of retirement and work as a neighborhood watch she will lose her retirement benefits from being a conservation regulator upon rejoining the workforce so i'm gonna say yes now i do wish that she still collected her retirement benefits because i feel like this should not count so um especially because she put in her time i don't feel like she should lose her retirement benefits but for the sake of this mod review i will do this she only works on sundays which is hilarious and she works from 8 to 12 so from 8 p.m to 12 a.m in the wee hours of the night she will be uh, looking out now it is time to talk about the senior living and care options and then lastly we're gonna plan a vacation but we're going to come over here and explore the senior living options now i really don't think her son would have her in any kind of assisted living or any kind of nursing home at all explore senior living options so before i get into this i do want to say that i do use a nursing home mod by maple bell that is in the mod review that i will also link in the description and at the end of this video i prefer that mod but i do like what this mod entails because they can actually live in a senior living home there are a variety of retirement community options available to elder sims sunset valley which is an independent retirement community twinbrook a medically staffed residential care home riverview an assisted living community and home care assistance provided by a residential caregiver at your home home love that so i kind of want to learn about home care residential caregiver services available to those elder sims who are comfortable living at home and are able to live mostly independently but need help with some tasks such as cooking assisted exercise running errands and medication reminders so here it gives you directions on how to hire a residential caregiver so i'm going to just click on senior services and senior living and care options hire residential caregiver so for this part of the video i want to show you all how the senior activity center and how the assisted or independent living does not have to be rabbit hole we are here at a seniors recreation center created by lucky heather and we can go to the venues list and we can turn it into a senior activity center senior centers are hubs for elder sims to meet socialize and interact with other elder sims while gaining new skills and engaging in a variety of recreational activities so now the lot type is a senior activity center and if we go to the traits panel we go to lot challenges and select senior activity center for the lot challenge and that should spawn us some uh you know a good amount of <laughs> a good amount of uh, elderly here that we can interact with so margaret is dressed up she's ready to go it's actually pretty late so instead of going to the senior center via the rabbit hole way we are going to visit the senior center probably bring our other elder friend eleanor i'm seeing eleanor here look at all the elderly you all i love this we already introduced ourselves to some when we're playing chess look at all these old people here this is awesome now we're just missing a bingo mod we need actual bingo now we are at sycamore heights which is a retirement home essentially by gerbits so how i would use this i would probably make this a residential rental because i would want to have different sims here if you have for rent um and then i would probably obviously divide up the rooms you can head off to unit configuration unit traits and challenges and i'm going to make this either assisted living or independent retirement community i am hoping this works with a residential rental i've only um, tested it out 
on residentials, but this is how I would want to use it. So I'm gonna say independent retirement community. So I wanted to go ahead and jump into uh, Margaret's friend's household just so that I could see if she could also uh, live at that retirement home that we just put in. So senior living and care options, explore senior living options. This is what we are looking for right here, an independent retirement community. To make a residential lot an independent living facility, you must register independent living community via the phone. Let's go back to senior services um, and go to senior living care and let's register our independent living community. Let's go home really quick. Let's just sit on our bed here. This is our little retirement center. And I went back to the senior living options and here you see all this is grayed out because this already has a senior community lot trait and we're just, we're good. Like we're good, we, we are already here. So everything is fine, I did it right. I thought that because I was on the other lot that it was gonna register it as a senior living um, lot and then I would have to add the lot trait. So I guess that is an option, but we were ahead of the game and we already set this as a senior living option here. So that's great. And here we are, here we are. <laughs> This is so awesome. Could you imagine if I move other elders here? I would love to see or play a week here and see what kind of services like gardening services, maintenance service, like cleaning, maid, who actually shows up here. But if you already know how this portion of the mod works, definitely leave a comment so I can be informed because I haven't played a week with this mod in elders yet. Oh man, so I go back into the household, Nathaniel's late for work and he's walking around in his boxers. What is going on? At 10.05, our uh, <laughs> this is so cute. Our, our help should be coming to help us out today, run errands and anything else we need. But for right now, I do want to go ahead and make sure that we plan, plan our cruise, our little vacation here. So I'm gonna come down here to plan a cruise vacation. And when we plan it, they don't leave right away. Um, so let's see, choose total travel party size. I think it is just going to be two passengers, just me and my friend. And then we will probably leave for three days. I don't want to extend it too long. And I'm just going to do the premium cruise line, keep it nice and in the middle, you know. And let's see. Ahoy, Margaret, your cruise has now been booked for five days. I only said three days. <laughs> want to value cruise line with two passengers. Your ship leaves in two days at 4 p.m. Better pack. If you miss it, your payment will be forfeit. So let's choose. Oh my goodness, I love how I... <laughs> I can choose all my new elder friends too. Oh, I should have chose more than two passengers. Man, that would have been nice to have Eleanor also come as well. I would love if it was actually on the calendar as well, if you toggled vacations, but it's not up here because what if you forget and you're like me and all of a sudden your sim disappears and you're like, where are you going? Cause you forgot that they're on a cruise. This is hilarious. So this isn't a part of the mod, but my friend says, hey Margaret. So listen, it's a long story, but my family's in a bit of a pickle right now. We need a place to stay for a bit. You have extra places to sleep, right? Honey, I thought you were living at the nursing home. I know Nathaniel is like, well, what, what is going on? Who is this and why is she here? Oh, she's just gonna stay because we're gonna leave for our cruise in a couple days anyway. Okay. <laughs> Okay, mom. I see our help right here. And it says residential caregiver, Snow. Her name is Snow. She has on her little nursing scrubs. Hi. She's like, hi, nice to meet you. I'm your new caregiver. I'm just brewing you some coffee. It's, oh, she's cleaning now. Oh, she's cleaning. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Also, um, I don't have these mods in right now, but I just dropped a new mod override video. So if y'all want some cute things to override your sponges and cleaning products and all that stuff, definitely check out that. But I didn't want any mods in this video because it, it's such a big mod. It is Wednesday, 3.51 p.m. And it says, it's almost time, Margaret. You have between now and 4 p.m. to board your cruise. And don't get left behind. Go back to senior services. Go on cruise. Catch that ship. That is awesome. <laughs> Why does it say she's asleep now? I hope that our mom has fun. It looks like someone left their luggage here too. Uh, but I am so glad that this mod gives our elders something to do. And I can totally see myself looking forward to the elder stage now. I mean, I kind of was with growing together, but I do feel like some of these features just really bring in that age group because truth be told, there's not a lot of stuff for them to do that is just age significant for them. So I'm super happy about that. And I know Nathaniel here is going to miss his mom while she is cruising, but I hope you all enjoyed this mod. If you did, please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe just keep simming always 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 stay wavy and i will see you all in the next video all right peace out